to the word of the week. This week's word is emotions. Now, for the month of February, we're using as our message of the month, our, our main topic as uh, let your feelings show. Uh, so we have a lot of feelings. Everybody's got feelings. Um, and sometimes it, it, we hold our feelings in. Uh, it's important to understand that feelings are natural and uh, a lot of times we, we assign so many values to them and um, the way we deal with those emotions uh, become uh, very very difficult for some people to express them and by not expressing them regardless of whether they're what we deem to be positive emotions or negative emotions that can create some problems so what we're going to do is talk about uh, the idea of what what are our, what are our feelings and what are feelings uh, so by definition um, Feelings are a conscious mental reaction, subjectively experienced a strong feeling, usually directed towards a specific object and typically accompanied by physiological and behavioral changes in the body. So, uh, it's, uh, feelings are very real uh, in one sense and they're all in your head in another sense. So, uh, we perceive something. Uh, we have a mental reaction and that mental reaction creates a physiological change. Uh, we know this uh, when, we are, uh, when we're afraid. Uh, our heart begins to pump. We start to pump adrenaline. Our, you know, we, we become excited. We get into that fight or, or flight uh, syndrome. Uh, when we're happy, uh, the, the brain secretes specific uh, chemicals that, that uh, help us to get that feeling of, of uh, the happiness, the, uh, the dopamines are released, the, in, the in, uh, endorphins and all those, those wonderful things. So each uh, change, while it usually occurs, it orig originates in our brain, it creates a physiological change. Um, the thing that we always have to keep in mind is that, um, you know, a lot of times we try to keep our emotions in check. Um, and that's, sometimes it's a good thing. Uh, there, there are times you have to you have to be careful about when and how you express your emotions. But to never express emotions is not a good thing. Uh, they are meant to be uh, let out, regardless of whether it's uh, uh, things like anger uh, or or fear or, or or those kind of what we call negative emotions, or whether positive emotions like uh, love and happiness. Uh, it's if we don't share those emotions, we don't let people know how we feel, then we're going to be, uh, all, of, all of these things are going to become bottled in us. Regardless of whether they're good emotions or bad emotions, uh, they're going to get stuck in us. And when they get stuck in us, then it creates a stagnation and it becomes very, very hard for us to proceed. So it's very important that we uh, tap into our emotions, that we acknowledge them. Uh, it doesn't mean that you have to act on them, but they're telling you something. They're uh, giving you a signal uh, that either something's going the way you want it to or something's not going the way that you would like it to. So over the next few weeks we're going to be talking about a couple of key emotions and uh, these feelings and why it's very important for us to recognize them, acknowledge them, and know how and when uh, to express them uh, to others and to acknowledge them to ourselves. Alright, so I hope that you enjoy this week's lesson and I hope to see you next week.